Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me along my journey so far. And if you're new to the channel, then please make sure you go ahead and hit the bell notification and the subscription button right now so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Now, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing this. Um, this is the, the Dewar's 8-year-old Japanese Smooth Mizunara Oak Cask Finish. So let's get this out of the out of the box. So and pour some into the glass. So according to the box, this is the Dewar's Cask Series number four. Um, as mentioned, it is an eight-year-old age statement from Dewar's, um, which has been finished in Japanese Mizunara oak casks. Now. That was one thing that really got, caught my attention with this particular bottle because I have always enjoyed the Mizunara oak finishes on whiskies that I have tried so far. And considering that I only just opened this up yesterday with my cousin for the first time, I think it's fairly easy to see that um, so far I've been enjoying this. But um, enough of that, um, we'll get on to the review. Um, I'll also point out that this has been bottled at 40% ABV as well. All right, so let's get started on the nose. Cheers. So the first thing you will notice is just how kind of sweet and vibrant it is. It straight away noses like a like a typical, like, I guess like a space side style of um, whiskey. I'm not too sure where, um, we'll say which distilleries that Dewar's normally uh, sources their whiskies from, but the the overall or at least the main feature of the nose is certainly a space side style. So at the moment I'm getting quite a lot of like um, grassy, uh, grassy notes like a fresh mown lawn, um, vanilla, uh, it has like a lemon blossom sweetness to it as well, caramel, black pepper spice, kind of like a toffee apple. There's also quite a bit of like a, a saltiness to it. Uh, one thing that I am enjoying from it at the moment is the actual Mizunara oak influence. So if you are familiar with the Mizunara, you'll kind of realize that it, the main features of it are kind of like an amplified version of American oak. So you do get all that vanilla and caramel and also the black pepper spice as well, but it's kind of amped up a little bit. And that's what I'm getting on this. So it's more of like a, like a stronger vanilla cream as well that I'm getting. There's a nice toasty oak element coming through as well. I say overall the um, the flavor or the, the the profile of the nose is quite well balanced. So let's move on to the palate and see how we go. Cheers. The mouthfeel is quite thin, um, but that's to be expected, being that it's a forty percent. Um, you're not really going to get that much texture out of it. Um, but it is quite spicy and that's one thing that I do enjoy from um, the oak. It's got a nice um, oaky spice coming through with it again. It's, it's like a, I'm getting like a, a toasted oak, I guess. Also kind of like um, oak wood chips as well. I'm also getting quite a bit of like a, a cedar profile as well. Um, more of those apples and pears. It definitely has that grassy citric element to it as well. Um, then as those like earthy tones kind of fade away then I start to get like milk chocolate um, a little bit of raisin as well one thing that I am enjoying so far is just the way the um, the oak influence just kind of increases uh, with each sip I know there's a lot of people that don't always really enjoy uh, say a lot of oakiness in their whiskies I personally do. It is a flavor profile that I enjoy. Um, so, so far, this is kind of hitting all the, the right spots for me. Um, moving along to the finish, again, much of the same profile is coming through that I was getting on the nose and on the palate. Um, the only difference now is that I'm starting to notice more of like a, a sweeter honey kind of note that's coming through as well. So, I'm getting, I am getting some subtle differences from uh, each stage of the tasting now that's pretty much all I have to say about the actual tasting itself but moving on to I guess the overall quality of the whiskey uh, it's probably something that could have benefited at being at a higher ABV um, but 
considering i'd say putting into consideration the price of this especially for australian prices it was actually quite affordable um, but again the fact that this has been aged for eight years it's been uh, finished off in mizanara oak as well which generally can be quite expensive i would say that the overall money for value on this is actually quite good it is definitely worth picking up yeah there are some really nice flavors that you will be able to pick up in this whiskey i would say that it's a an excellent choice for beginners that are wanting an introduction into mizanara oak and it also does offer a little a little bit of extra something for more long-term whiskey drinkers as well. I think that's it for now. I'll leave it at that. Uh, my name is Andrew and I'll see you all again on the next video. Get this. Well, since you made it this far into the video, why not go ahead and check out some of these other reviews that I have done in the past. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.